Well, I'm very excited to be here and uh, very excited to kind of continue to learn uh, about the University of North Carolina. Obviously, I've probably had the job for two to three weeks, but maybe have been on campus four or five days, obviously, with recruiting and just how that goes. So I just got back in town today, as a matter of fact, and uh, just the transition up to this point has been phenomenal. Uh, the people have been uh, unbelievable. Obviously, I've had a, a relationship with Coach Fedora for a long time over the years, have a tremendous amount of respect for everything that he's done both on and off the field uh, as a football coach and as a man. Uh, and I'm just excited to get started. So uh, it's been a couple years. Actually, I was sitting in your seat uh, less than two months ago and actually enjoyed it. Didn't know if I would or not, but I actually enjoyed it. And, uh, but I'm looking forward to getting started here and I'm really looking forward to just kind of growing relationships, meeting new people, looking forward to you know, getting to know our players and getting to know you know, people in the administration and so many great people around here that I've, I've already met a few that have invested so much time, uh, whether they're former players, uh, just people that have been around the university and the athletic program for so many years. Uh, it's been short-lived up to this point, but uh, I've really enjoyed it and I'm, in, and I'm extremely uh, excited about moving forward and getting to uh, meet and learn and, and uh, just embrace uh, this University of North Carolina culture. I took two years off from my family. I mean, it's just that simple. Uh, I just felt like that was time that I could really be with my daughters and my son and my wife and really kind of recoup some time. And in my mind, if I got opportunities to come and coach again, then I'm blessed. If I don't, I've had a great career. And so in those two years, there were several opportunities uh, people are obviously going to ask, why this one? Uh, and, and to me, the answer is real simple, because to me, every decision that I make in my life moving forward is a quality of life decision. That's what it is. It's if I take this job and I move to a certain place, am I going to be happy every day at work with the people that I work with? Am I going to really embrace the culture, the area, the community? All of those things matter. Geographically, it mattered to me. Um, and then you throw in the fact that my amount of respect for Larry, uh, ironically, we've kind of mirrored each other's careers as we were coming up as coordinators. He was at Florida when I was a coordinator at Auburn. Then I went to the Texas as the coordinator on defense, and he was at Oklahoma State. And then when I became the head coach at Iowa State, he was still at Oklahoma State. So. I've got a really high level of respect for having to defend and go against what I know is a very productive offensive guy in mind, and I've got, a, I've got a lot of respect for Larry in that regard, but I've got more respect for him as a person. And if I ever said that I was going to go back and be an assistant for somebody and work for somebody, um, it would be a guy like Larry. I have, over the years, run a 4-3. Uh, we will do some more evaluation on players to see exactly what the best thing to do is in terms of not trying to put round pegs in square holes. Uh, but what we do want to know uh, philosophically and what we do want to see philosophically when we turn the film on is we want to see a relentless aggressive defense. Uh, you want the opponents to start worrying about you on Sunday by the intensity level and the effort that your players give. Everything that we're going to do in my mind on everything uh, in all the defenses where I have felt like we've played a championship level type of defense, everything starts with the defensive line. Everything. And so I think that, you know, again, without naming names, we've got three really good potential defensive linemen that really, as I've done my homework here, um, this is kind of like D-line U if you really want to get down to the nuts and bolts of it. So we want to continue in that direction. I think the coaching staff did a fantastic job of holding on to those guys. I just came in in the tail end and tried to be a part of it. But, you know, I wasn't the relationship guy. Those guys were. They did everything that they should have and could have done. And so I, I'm pleased with that. And, uh, you know, people are going to say, what about this one that got away? I don't ever talk about the ones that got away. I talk about the ones we got. Those are the ones that we love up. The ones that got away, we wish them luck and we hope we play them.
That's how, that's how, we, that's how it works. So. When I have trust in people uh, and I talk to the right people and ask the right questions, it doesn't need to be a long, drawn out, uh, you know, belabored process. You know, I asked what I had to ask. I talked to the right people, felt very comfortable with the situation here moving forward. Um, and, you know, again, I, I just, uh, I trust the people that, you know, that I've known. And everything to me, again, uh, going back to my quality of life decisions, I felt like we were in a great place. I heard you ask the questions about recruiting to Larry. And you know what? You know, that's a battle that we'll fight. But guess what? We're, we're, we're all in there. We're, we're hooked up and uh, we're back to back and we'll fight the fight. This, well, that won't be the first fight that I've been involved fighting. You know, so uh, I'm excited about it and I feel very good about it. And our job is to not look backwards, but let's all move forward right now and, and see where we can go from here. And that's, that's kind of the excitement in my mind that I have right now in terms of where this potentially can go. Mac Brown is what I consider to be one of my truly, truly great friends, role model, mentor, him and his wife, Sally. Uh, I have a great deal of respect uh, for him, not just as a football coach, but a, as a man and his word. And, and when I talk to Mac Brown about North Carolina, uh, he just glows. I mean, his memory of what, you know, his time was here. And you've got to think about a man that has, you know, he's a, he's a college Hall of Fame football coach. And his time here and his memories here and wh how he talked about the academic part, how he talked about, uh, you know, the, the priorities that it were to be student athletes and win championships at the same time. I didn't have any idea that we've won that many champions, championships in all these other different sports here. That's very unique to me. So there's a commitment here to, to be great in athletics as well as to be great in the classroom. The people here. If I didn't cut him off of our phone call, we would still be talking about how great the people are. I mean. That's how he feels about this place. So when I talk to a guy like that, uh, who, again, I know I trust him with everything that I've ever done in my career, and vice versa with him as well, uh, I, hold, I held that conversation uh, in high regard. Order your 2015 Carolina football tickets today. Make plans to see the smart, fast, physical Tar Heels in Keenan Stadium. Visitors include Miami, Duke, Virginia, and Wake Forest. Season tickets start at just $99. Visit GoHeels.com to order your Carolina football tickets now.